Hi! Hi! This is where they should have kicked the car the car! Hello everybody! So we have arrived, we arrived yesterday here in the uh, wonderful state of Oregon. And behind me, that there is the Pacific Ocean. So go anyway out there and you're gonna not see any land for a very, very long way. So we've been here now for a couple of days. We were in Seattle yesterday. And uh, we've been in Oregon today. We went to see uh, Seaside, Oregon, which is a beautiful little town. And uh, we're now heading over to see uh, a shipwreck here on the beach in Oregon. So here we are at the Peter Iredell shipwreck. Went down in, when did it go down? 1906. Went down in 1906. <laughs> it was a uh, freight vessel. I believe it had coal on board when it crashed. Sadly, all of the crew survived. Um, so everyone was safe. Uh, and yeah, so now this is the end down here. If you look way down there, there's like two pylons. Super long ship. And now all that's left is basically the skeleton. There you go. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Of course. So that's some of the story of the Peter Arne. Apparently it sank because it was trying to find the entrance to the Columbia River, which is about two, three miles in that direction. Uh, but according to uh, Jason's brother, before they put in some uh, sea defense pilings there, the Columbia River would move up and down the beach. So. Especially back in the days before global GPS and things like that, you'd, you'd have to find the river to get into uh, Port of Astoria and into Washington. So you can understand how ships could, in bad conditions, or with some poor navigation, end up in this situation. Okay, so we've taken a short, short drive up onto the top of a hill, um, and we have a beautiful 360 degree view from up here. Uh, we started out down the Columbia River, uh, half the Columbia River, so that direction. I don't know where this is. Um, but what we've come to is uh, something called the Astoria Column, which is this beautiful uh, pseudo phallic object behind me. And we're going to go up to the top of that, and uh, I won't bother showing you the 360 degree view from here. I'll wait till we get up onto the top of that beauty. That is a George Bush. <laughs> So we're out here in the middle of nowhere, almost literally. Uh, this is, we're nearby to the Death Valley. We are, it's very hot. We're somewhere in the region of 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, which I want to say it's 40 Celsius, but I'll have to double check that. But it is absolutely gorgeous here. I mean, I'm a geography nerd, so that's probably got part, part of the reason why I think so. But we've got beautiful mountains in pretty much every direction. It's quite a beautiful clear sky. We do have some uh, sea 
Oh, this is behind the toilet. Yeah, it's large thunder, thunderheads and or, or large cumulus going on uh, towering queue uh, in that direction. But it's otherwise pretty clear. And we've got some beautiful, absolutely beautiful scenery. We've just passed through a load of uh, pretty pear fields. Um, well, I say fields, desert. And um, yeah, we're about halfway between uh, um, San Diego and Las Vegas, and we're heading for um, we're heading through the Mojave National Park, and it is you know I cannot put into words how beautiful it is out here. So I'll just give you a quick pan before I sign off here, and then I think I've got to get back on the bus.